Hey everybody, this is Brett and today I'm going to show you how to put your roof rack rails on your Jeep Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. I'm talking about the cross members that go across the rails up there. I'm going to show you how to put those on the proper way and all the tools that you're going to need if you didn't get them from Jeep in your vehicle. You're going to need a couple different tools and bolts to do it. This is going to be good for 2022, 23 and 24 Jeep Wagoneers and Grand Wagoneers. And if you would have got the convenience group, you would have got the roof rack rails. But if you didn't get the convenience group, you're going to have to order those rails and you can get that through any of your local Jeep dealers. So let's get right into it. And if the video helps you out, remember to like, subscribe and share on the YouTube channel as well as considering the super thanks button if I helped you out and saved you some time. So let's get right to it. So back here is gonna be where your roof rack rails are located. You may wanna grab a step stool before you start your project here to put these rails on, but they're gonna be located right under this cover and they come packaged like this in their styrofoam and they're always placed right in here. To get these out, you're gonna to wanna to make e get this styrofoam out and kind of remove them like so. That'll go down nice and slowly. So you get two rails with the roof rack kit uh, you only get two. You could get a third if you wanted, if you really needed it. So you can see that these come out like so. So these are exactly the same. There's no difference between one or the other. They're exactly the same. The biggest difference is how you're going to adjust them. So there is an adjustment bolt right there. There's also an adjustment bolt right here. And that will determine where you put those on the top of the vehicle. I have them loosened up already and they slide like so. And then you can slide them out like that. So if you slide both of them out, that is for the front. If you slide one of them in and one of them out, that's for the middle. And if you slide both of them in, that's for the back of the vehicle. Once you do that, they also give you a kit back here where they give you this tool. This is a Torx 30 and it's also a torque wrench. So when you're tightening them, you can make sure you're not over tightening them and wrecking the screws. And then you get eight screws. So these are special screws. Obviously they're Torx 30 on the top and they are M6 by 1.0. That has to do with the thread and the length of the screw. And there's my notes right there. If you wanted to, if you didn't get these or you needed to replace them, that's what you're going to want to replace them with. So you get those and your Torx wrench. The next thing that you're going to want to do, we're going to do it on the front here. So I'm going to put them all the way out, tighten these down so that they can't move. You just want to get them snug. You don't want to over tighten them. You just want to get them nice and snug because once they're on the roof, they'll be locked into place. Uh, and then the next thing you do is these pieces right here spin. And then they snap into place. So then that's locked into place and can't move. You're gonna wanna do that with the other side as well. Careful not to pinch your fingers. And uh, now you're ready to put them on top of the roof. So let's go do that. All right, so we're all ready to install our front roof rack rail. I've got both ends all the way out to accommodate for the front because it's wider in the front than it is the back. First thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you got all your tools. I got my Torx 30, I've got my bolts here, and I got two out already. So you're gonna wanna, there's these push pins that are in where the bolts go and they just pop right out of there like so. Bring your bag up for your bolts so you can put the push pins in there and not lose them. Because if you're like me and you don't put them in a certain spot, they get lost and you don't know where they are. So now that we got those out, you're gonna wanna position your roof rack rail in the right position. There's actual triangles on here. That means that this has to be facing forward. The triangle has to be facing forward to go on here. So you're just gonna to wanna to get it into place, kind of set it up like so. And once we get the other side, those will go in. Now you're not gonna to wanna to use the torque wrench right away. You're just gonna to wanna to get these started up here. And with metric bolts, you gotta always get it nice and straight so that they thread properly. It's always tricky getting them to thread. All right. 
We got both of them threaded. And now I'm gonna do the other side so that uh, you can see when it goes in, how it looks. And that's really all that's to it. Then we gotta use the torque wrench to torque it down a little bit and you should be good to go. So the reason you don't wanna torque those down is so that you can get these out and kind of get this out of the way. You want it a little bit loose so that you can adjust it. And you're gonna have to, sometimes you're gonna have to push in just a little bit to, to get the bend right. And you can grab your, your other bolts. Like so. Put your push pins away so they don't get lost. And once again, we're just gonna to wanna to hand tighten these for right now. Because as you can see, I have to adjust this as I'm doing this so we don't cross thread these bolts. They really don't make this extremely easy Like you'd think the people that made the Wrangler would understand quickness and ease. I guess not so much. It's not too bad. They're just kind of a pain to get to. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to use, once you get them tight, there's a torque wrench, so there's a line right there. And once you get it in there, you're just gonna if you if you're pressing and it's and you're pressing that plastic piece past that you've already got them tight enough i believe you just don't want to over tighten them once again i think just getting them snug is probably pretty good and that's really all that's to it all right that does it for this video pretty easy short and simple thank you so much for checking out the video and remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. And if I saved you any time and money, consider the super thanks button. I really appreciate it. It helps me out personally a lot. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, scathing rebuttals, leave them in the comments section below. I love reading them. I love answering them, helping you guys out. Again, like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the demonstration videos I've done in the upper right, a link to all of our Wagoneer videos in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, subscribe, share. Thanks again for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Peace out.